of seven in 1953 in northeastern Arkansas. I had seen lights above the river for three nights running. This alien friend of mine. Other times. His head was shaped like a brain. Other beings. This is a picture of my extraterrestrial husband. Welcome to another mind-altering broadcast. They drilled in my forehead. With Riley Martin. Call 888-STERN-101 with your questions. The Riley Martin Show. Hello, hello. Hello, good people. Today, welcome to the Riley Martin Show. Today is uh, August 23, going into 24, 2011. Welcome to the Riley Martin Show. We're glad that you're here. Uh, back in the studio tonight, once again, is the one and only, the great, uh, magnificent technician, actor, choreographer, soon to be married to the lovely Angela, <laughs> in a couple of weeks, I speak of none other than the great Matt, a little Nicky Scarfo Nicosia. We also want to give a shout out to the great Chris, the lover, Libertini. The brilliant John the Hammer Hanalak. The marvelous John the Jamborg Kerber. Uh, and the genius of Dan the Song Parody Man. Also coming out of New York, low riding and, and easy does it. Down the road. Uh, and, and for another episode, I speak of none other than the big man across the land. Cool and groovy. And smooth and poovy. <laughs> Speak of none other than the, in here in the home studio, the great double O, Al Regone, and a shout out to the lovely Michelle. Yes, and by my side, as usual, is the one and only, the inimitable, and quite brilliant, if I must say, uh, the man with the plan uh, over the land of sand in the land of the big span. I speak of none other than the great Eric Eron of Macaulay. This is only one planet. Yes, indeed. Uh, people, I was, uh, <laughs> I was talking to a friend of mine, a good man, uh, by the name of Paul Eversman, up in Rockaway, New York, South Rockaway, New York. He's a retired police officer. And he say, I heard Howard say that you said you were not going to do any more symbols. Well, now, that's only partially true. Let me explain. Over the years, uh, since I first began doing the symbols, like in 1988, over the years, I did a prodigious amount of work and built up kind of an inventory of symbols. Over the time, oh, I have not finished by a long shot, but I've built up an inventory. However, due to past physical injuries from many years back, uh, uh, of late, I've slowed way down and because uh, there are times and because of, you know, surgeries and things like that, that occasionally I will experience pains of pain. In order to do the symbols, I must go into a place that is not altogether in this third dimension. And uh, But if uh, like a big thingy of pain hits me, I cannot stay there. Then I got to stop and take care of that, you know, walk around, uh, take a pill, whatever. And uh, so the, consequently, uh, the volume of my work has suffered. However, if you order a symbol at RileyMartin.com, there's a 70% probability that I already have your symbol. However, so that leaves me the only 30% left to do, uh, which I naturally will do when it comes time if I do not have your symbol. So continue to buy your symbols and, and, of course, your books and things like that at RileyMartin.com. And I need you now more than ever because, as you can see, I've been left out of the extra hour lineup and everything else and what have you. Uh, so welcome to the Riley Martin Show. How you doing, Iran? I'm doing fine. Speaking of symbols, I have an email mm -hmm. uh, concerning such. Okay. Uh, people send the emails to Riley Martin at SiriusXM.com. Mm -hmm. All right, this uh, is from Jennifer Babcock. Oh, Jennifer. Yes, she says she's in Chicopee, Mass. Yes. She says this is a question concerning the OMSA Tri-Nexus. Uh-huh. Okay? Mm-hmm. 
and you might want to explain what that is to people. But the question is, do you know why the Omsa Tri Nexus was uploaded to you on September 11th, 2009? And is it is it predetermined who receives a copy, and does someone currently possess the original? Uh, no, uh, uh, darling Jennifer, I have the original, original. Uh, I made 21 copies, and uh, I uh, uh, have dispensed with about 14 of those. I have about seven of the copies left. The Omsa Trinexus is a, an admixture. It is an interlocking of three different symbols that represents a great deal of things. Should someone order the Omsa Trinexus, I will send them more or less a, 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 a a explanation of what it is, a printed explanation of the meaning of it. But it would take me too long to go into it, darling. You're very fortunate in that you have a copy of that. That is the only symbol I have been permitted to copy 21 times. All the rest of the symbols are one of a kind. The the buyer always gets the original and what have you, okay? Okay, now she's also asking, why do you think it was uploaded to you on this specific date, which is September 11th, uh, 2009? Well, okay, in uh, in 2009 or early 10, I wrote Howard a letter saying, Howard, I see fire in the sky above Manhattan about a year before it happened. However... I placed it at around August 18, uh, uh, you know, uh, on uh, on 11. Uh, but I think they called Masawi or something around that time. So the rest of the guys probably, uh, you know, laid low for a couple of weeks to see if he was going to talk or something like that. I see things I can no longer not see. But uh, 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 they planned it to do it on August 18, but... Uh, they had they waited until nine eleven. Now there may be some significance in the Omsa Trinexus that was given to me coming up to that time. I never really thought of it in that manner, but that's something to contemplate. Thank you, my dear. Okay, thanks mm -hmm. for that call. Mm -hmm. On the email, Jennifer, mm -hmm. call yeah. Space Cowboy with questions tonight. People eight eight eight. Thing one hundred one. All right, this mm -hmm. will be James' first call in Colorado. Hello, James in Colorado. Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, okay. I was just wondering. Like, I had a couple things uh, to ask you. Um, mm -hmm. For one, I was wondering if you think those quakes are related to aliens, and if you think they caused them in Colorado and also in D.C. What? No, <laughs> no, I don't think they caused them. Uh, uh, okay. Nonetheless, it does not really surprise me. I am aware of the fact that there is a fault that runs out of, say, southwest Georgia all the way up uh, through, uh, you know, through uh, the Virginia, D.C., uh, Jersey, New York, Massachusetts, and what have you. But it's, it is a, a hard fault. What I call a hard fault is a rock fault. For instance, if you had had, a, uh, if you had, had an earthquake that size, on the west coast, the sandy soil, it would have done a lot more damage. You know what I mean? But yeah. uh, we are fortunate, and I don't anticipate that happening again in my lifetime in a way. But then again, you know, no one really knows. Okay. Hey, I also heard some rumors. I don't really believe these rumors. I heard that you, you have been beating your wife, and I don't believe them because you're so ugly and desperate. There's no way you would beat any woman. And that's right, because then she'd up and leave me like your old lady left you, you know? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next call. <laughs> this would be, let's see, Terry in Oregon, Riley. Hello, Terry in Oregon. Terry? He's not there. Okay. All right. uh, next call. This would be, uh, let's see, Kevin in New Jersey. Kevin in New Jersey. All right, we're stuck here on this. So uh, in the meantime, I have a quick question here. Okay. And then we'll get back to the call. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, people are watching the Obama administration to see if they're going to come up with some type of a coherent or, or, or progressive energy policy mm -hmm. for, for this country, for, for the future. And uh, you have talked about this 
fusion technology that these extraterrestrials possess. And since you understand the concept of it, isn't it possible that you could uh, relay this information to scientists here that they could they could glean some type of principles out of it to construct fusion technology for use uh, for practical use well i could explain to the to the scientists what i have witnessed and uh, more or less how i conceive it to work how it has been explained to me nonetheless i cannot do the math it would take far greater minds than mine to do so and uh mankind is well on the way uh, with the atom smashers and things of this nature, and uh, to try and uh, eventually start and sustain the fusion reaction. Yes. But they are not yet able to do so. But there are so many other lesser things that we could do that are clean that we can institute right now. Uh, and we have the technology to do so. You know, there's uh, the geothermal, geothermal, wind, sun, you name it. Uh, we've got it reflectors, space reflectors, we, we, we have the knowledge to do these things, and we should institute a program, a crash program, like another WPA or something, crash program, to do these things, as well as reforestation, uh, bri bridge building, uh, infrastructure building, things of this nature, and it would put people back to work yes. and make a cleaner world. Uh, all of this about finding more oil and stopping more fossil fuel into uh, the atmosphere ad infinitum is certainly not not good at all for the earth it's mm. already making a decided change in our uh ecology and uh, weather systems and things of this nature you see what i mean yes i just figured that they could come up with the mathematics based on what you've already given mm -hmm. all right next call this is kevin in new jersey hello kevin in new jersey hey riley shout out to you shout out to you ron well, shout out to you kevin I'm glad you guys got the phones back working. It would have been uh, pretty, pretty weird just to have you talking the whole time. But I got a question for you regarding. Um, mm -hmm. uh, have you ever had a first contact with a steady paycheck? Uh yeah, yeah. In fact, this one study, my good man, as it has, as it checks out, been for the last sixty-five years. If you make it until my age, then uh, you can look back and say. Oh, wow, I'm glad that I made it and still had a steady paycheck. You see what I mean? And whatever. So you should be wishing me well instead of be begrudging me the pittance that I'm making. All right, here's Steve in Brooklyn. Hello, Steve in Brooklyn. Hi, Oquatinj and Ron Riley. How are you? Oquatinj and Ron, Steve. Uh, yeah, I actually have two questions. Um, the, the first one, what, what type of vices... Are, are common amongst the Toxicians. Now, Toxicians are reptilians. I never hung out with them, so I don't know what they are up to, with the exception of sometimes killing cattle and drinking blood. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's too much. Uh, I, my second question, I actually have a question for Iran. Uh, what, what does Riley's dick taste like? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> uh, actually, 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 good man, you could tell us much better than we can tell you in as much as you seem like you got one in your mouth right now. <laughs> but, but take care of yourself, yeah? All right, next call. This is Robbie in San Diego. Hello, Robbie in San Diego. Hey, how's it going, uh, Iran and Riley? Uh, how are you? I'm not too bad. Uh, my question is, Iran, not too long ago, uh, referenced uh, a lot of July UFO sightings. And I was wondering if, they, if they've been in increasing here in August. And if we should expect them to increase? Well, actually, the 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 sightings of them and the recordings of them are increasing all over the planet. Now, I don't know if this is because uh, they are increasing, or if it's that we have better things to record them now. Everybody's got cameras and things of this nature. But as you can see, they have been showing up in places where thousands of people have been witnessing them, say over Phoenix. Mexico City and various other places, Chicago, Cleveland, and places like that that's been witnessed. So, yes, we are seeing more of them, and I suspect that it will continue to uplink uh, between now and late 2012. Wow, hey, great. Thanks, Riley. 
Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, shout out to you, too. All right, here's a quick email. This is Joe in Philadelphia. Hello, Joe. This is an email. Oh, okay. He says he's in the middle of, in the middle of reading your book, and he wants to know how you feel by the about the fact that most of the things that you predicted over 20 years ago, like earthquakes in California, terrorist attacks in the U.S., have all come true, and don't you think that the media should give you more credit and acknowledgement? Well, they don't want to do that Joe because, yeah, Joe, Joe, they don't do that simply because if it's not a tiger running into a tree or a, a movie star beating his old lady or... Uh, another guy doping and killing himself, it's not any fun for them. Secondly, I'm not a member of that great fraternity of so-called smart people and things of that nature. Therefore, they will pass right by and uh, try and catch, uh, uh, you know, Michelle Bachman blowing her nose. Uh, you know, it's, it's no, no longer are we living in a world of reality here. We're living in a world of thieves. Uh, and uh, Monty Banks and fake hood from every angle and all of this. We have been conditioned uh, to uh, to exist on garbage. If, you know, I can tell them, I used to tell them, I used to surreptitiously tell them and, and things of this nature, and they did not listen until it was too late. But, yes, I've seen these things coming, and my book foretold it. I did not write it yesterday. You see what I mean. All right, thanks for that email, Joe. Next mm -hmm. call, this will be Dave in Boston. Hello, Dave in Boston. Hey, Riley. Hi. Hey, uh, hey I was calling to ask you if you've heard, there's, there's some prophecy I read about an alien. It's like a cat-like alien called Gyrocat. It's supposed to return to Earth to save humanity. Um, it's actually supposed to return to Earth on August 27th, uh, this Saturday. I'm well, wondering if you had any well, insight. No, no, my good man. I, I've seen, with my own eyes, I've seen seven different types of aliens, and certainly they are strange, but I did not see a cat alien, and I know nothing of that. But who knows? There are something like 39 different species of aliens cruising our skies, uh, either uh, at, at this time or from time to time. So, you know, I cannot say. Uh, thanks for the call. Thanks for that call. It's been said that these cats here, these domesticated <coughs> cats, are from another planet. Actually, there is a story, a legend about that. All right, next call. This is Ron in New York. Hello, Ron in New York. Hi, Riley. How are you doing? Okay, Ron. I have a couple of questions for you. Um, number one, I was just wondering, how do I figure out what symbol is the best for me? Well, you, uh, yeah, Ron, I will figure that out. You send me. Hopefully, you photograph in some kind of handwriting. You can say hickory dickory dock and uh, give me a lineage. For instance, my mom is Cherokee, Seminole, and black. My dad is the same. And you would say my mom is, you know, uh, English. My dad's German or whatever. And that's all I need. And it's something to see you. Uh, either your either or your handwriting. That's all I need. I will find your symbol. I see. Did Iran also... Well, how did you figure out Iran's symbol? Did he have to go through the same process? Well, no. I uh, fortunately he was around me, and uh, and it was not not difficult at all to get his symbol. You know, to his symbol. He has a number of symbols anyway. Yeah. And I'd like to follow up with one last question, um, okay. Iran. So, how does Riley's dick taste? Oh, uh, my good man, uh, you ought to. Uh, Keep that more or less to yourself, you know. Don't be asking and don't telling and all that type of stuff, simply because if that's your preference, then I wish you well. You know, there's nothing wrong with you doing that. <laughs> uh, you understand, but that's not our forte. Next call, this is Jenny in Colorado. Hello, Jenny in Colorado. Hey, this is Jenny. I'm, I'm just so pissed off that you keep on beating your fucking wife and stuff. I keep your... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, honey, if you keep that attitude... You'll find out uh, what this, what it feels like, but I don't do that. All right, here's Bobby in Sacramento, Riley. Hello, Bobby in Sacramento. Hey, Bob. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Riley, first time caller, and uh, mm -hmm. I just wanted to call and defend you. I cannot stand these fucking retards that keep calling your show. You're the most underrated talent on. Yeah, well, uh, I, I suspect I suspect that it is at the behest uh, of the ones who are trying to starve me up here. 
That's yeah, serious. This, mm-hmm. this, I just think it's bullshit. Cause I, I listen to your show every Tuesday, and, and I really think you're really, uh, really awesome. So. Hey, thanks. Um, there was one more question. Uh, 2012, with all the weather pattern fluctuations and all that stuff, do you think that's going to basically indicate something's coming sooner? Uh, well, no. Uh, well, things are picking up speed all over the world. You know, the hurricanes, the earthquakes, the tsunamis, uh, the volcanoes, all of this in this period of time are picking up speed. Not only that, but hatred, wars and rumors of wars, uh, diseases, new diseases, things of this nature, it's all coming together and will reach an equinox around late 2012 upon this planet. And uh, I don't think it probably won't be nothing nice, but we are working on that. I think uh, our friends in the sky can actually help us if they so desire it, and I'll be asking them to do that at some time in the near future. Thanks, Riley. You're the best. Hey, take care now. Bye. Thanks, Bobby. Next call. <coughs> this is George in California. Hello, George in California. Hey, Riley. What's going on? Uh, I was okay. just wondering. Uh, I, I heard that the earthquake came from Iran pounding your ass so hard. Uh, no, no, no. It, it, was, it probably came from me, son, playing with myself. You know what I mean. <laughs> I hear this call is Steve in Texas. Hello, Steve in Texas. How you doing, Riley? Okay. Hey, um, I was I was going to ask about the Biavian system of government, and is is there like creation of wealth at that level? I mean, do they have people that that make money, or what kind of system are they on? No, it's not. It's certainly not like ours. However, there is commerce of a sort, uh, simply because there are some things that does, are natural that cannot be had on BRB, and thus there has to be trading done and things of that nature. But uh, in essence, they seek knowledge more so than physical riches, because in essence, uh, physical riches on our planet, of uh, precious metals and all that type of stuff, is very rare. But when you're out in the cosmos, it's not rare at all. None of that. Jewels, emeralds, diamonds, rubies, gold, silver, platinum, and what have you. Inasmuch as it is used for electronics and the building of hulls of ships and things of that nature, then it requires, uh, you know, trade and stuff like that. Uh, but is, it's kind of a long story. Mm-hmm. Is, is talent rewarded? I mean, do people get more money or whatever they're trading in, whereas well, other people may not get as much, and is there... Well, no, the reward, uh, you know, for them, the reward is the ability to have done what they did, and they take great pride in being able to accomplish something, a new concept, the discovery of a new planet, uh, the creation uh, of uh, some new substance and things of this nature. Uh, more or less is their reward. They are certainly not like human beings. However, if when humans are there and get there, some are already there, I suppose that they will uh, start a system, you know, uh, of exchange uh, like we, something similar to what we have here, you know. So once again, it's true that no material thing is denied well, no, Any no, of them, no, no, simply because it's so abundant if you can go get it. You know, it's just so abundant until it, uh, for instance, there is, there is a meteor, several meteors coming through this way. One's called Mim, one's called Matilda, one's called Aries, which is the one I'm worried about. Uh, they are made out of, say, silver, gold. Uh, as well as other precious metals and rock and stuff like that. You see what I mean? Yes. They could, they could actually go out there and mine it. Okay, and tell why you're worried about the one. Well, uh, there are three. Uh, uh, there are three meteors. Uh, let me give a shout out here to Cameron and Jen- Jennifer Hoover and the family out in Santa Ana, California. Joe Costa and his lovely daughter Bailey. Uh, up in Iowa. Paul Lindenfeld and Bruce Tomaszewski down in Trenton, New Jersey. 
uh, Paul, happy birthday. Jim Boyd, the great in Northwell, Pennsylvania. Michael Mandy and Michelle Hutchins, our son and daughter of Mary Cap out of the city of California. Kevin Mac- McNamara in Shelby Township, Michigan. Back to Wilson and his family in Temple Hills, Maryland. Michael Terrell, Terrell Gillil- Gilliland in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. David Caspino, Tarzana, California. Amos Lord Baker in Kyle, Texas. Pamela Oxford, Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, she helped Mike Boyd's mom. I love you, baby. Garrett Cooper, friend Mike Bilski, and Fallon, uh, Fallon, Fallon, out in Scottsdale, Arizona. Michael uh, Lindsay and Luzon, uh, Lindsay Luzon and Lindsay Luzon, uh, in Waverly, Minnesota. Steve Fries and friend Michael Conair in Chester, uh, Maryland. Stay with us now. We shall return. Riley Martin. In 1953 in northeastern Arkansas, I had seen lights above the river for three nights in a row. Call 888-101 with your questions. The Riley Martin Show on Howard 101. You are on the verge of destroying the entire universe. Call 888-101 and make contact. The Riley Martin Show. Powered 101. And we are back. Yes, people, you can get your symbols. Go to RileyMartin.com and get your symbols. Time is of the essence. You may also go to the Android app and uh, buy I, Riley Martin, the Android app. Uh... I'm shouting out Matt Panther and his lovely mom, Sheila. Go to thecosmiclegend.com. Thecosmiclegend.com. And uh, get uh, my Atlanta DVD. And also, in Dorristown, Pennsylvania, on October Saturday, October 8th, to get the skinny on that, go to Susan Duvall, 1L Duvall. Susan Duvall Seminars. Dot com. Susan Duvall Seminars dot com. There's also a number there for you. And uh, she will explain it to you and will meet me there on Saturday, October 8th, Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Looking forward to seeing you. Me and Iran will be there. <laughs> so welcome back to the Ride of Martin Show. And uh, Iran? Yes. Uh, uh, you know, go right ahead, man. Let's get back to it. Next yeah. call, this will be Paul in Minnesota. Hello, Paul in Minnesota. Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, okay, yeah. Paul. Um, I heard you guys might be on tomorrow. Is that true? Tomorrow? No, no one has told me that. Uh, um, okay, I thought maybe because uh, Howard was on vacation that uh, you guys might be doing <laughs> No, no, I wasn't on last week. Uh, uh, Howard okay. said that he nixed, you know, that Tim had mentioned it to him. When he was, uh, when, uh, you know, Pharrell was off, and he nixed it, and what have you. Uh, you know, uh, who am I to argue with uh, the rich man, the the chief god golem, and what have you. You understand? And, yeah. Uh, you know, Timmy the Pooh, and all of those guys, they know more about it. Maybe they think they're doing the best thing for the company. Heavens forbid that they should be doing it out of narcissistic spite and bigotry and something of that nature. So I have to, you know, defer to their wisdom. Well, I think obviously they're doing it out of bigotry, but uh, also I heard that the earthquake was caused by you dropping humongous loads. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And, uh, but you see, that was a fat lady over your mother's house. <laughs> Is there this much hatred in the in the country? I, I, that's okay. Listen, I have a, I have a that's question. A, that's okay. <laughs> listen, I have a question. <laughs> this is a question about this uh, this cloning thing that these these extraterrestrial mm-hmm. extraterrestrials have these Biavians. Right. You you call it? Uh, you say that they guess they just state replacement bodies for themselves. That's correct. Okay. Only one. Right. At a time, yeah. Right, and uh, 
you said, and it's easy to see that it that the most difficult part of this trans would be the transference of the brain from the original body into the replacement body. Uh huh. So, my question is, what are the side effects? To this, I mean, there well, would have to be some type of a drop off. Well, side yeah, of right. Well, you got, you got to figure that over the time, for instance, the average Biarbian will never be cloned any more than, say, twice. Uh, there has been known to be at least three clonings after about 60,000 years and what have you. Nonetheless, you are right. Even though the neurotonic uh, surgeons, the robotic surgeons, are capable of retying. Uh, uh, as, you know, uh, nerve endings as well as capillaries and veins and things of that nature, uh, there is a deterioration or a slight loss uh, in brain matter and the cognizance of that brain matter. But it's one thing about the brain. I know of no creature, including the Biavians, who l use the entirety of their brain. Therefore, they are able to bring online unused parts of the brain so to speak, uh, uh, you understand, mm. uh, possibly you and I don't use any more than probably about 8% of our brain, if that much, and what have you, even though uh, you're a very intelligent man. So, so over time, even though there's a deterioration in the physiology of the exchange, it's not so much as to make them addle-brained. You see what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then a quick follow-up then, if, if we only use roughly 8% of our brains, if we go out there with these amongst these extraterrestrials, is there a way that they will be able to boost that? Well, certainly, given, the, as you can see, given the access to greater volumes of information, uh, people are getting smarter. Kids are getting smarter. Uh, and what have you, their, their life cycle has been sped up in the knowledge spectrum as well as uh, certainly our electronics and things of that nature. So, yes, given access, I've learned a great many things from the Biavians that I did not learn in earthly schools and what have you, and I've been able to retain it, such as the symbols and things of that nature, you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, back to the calls. This is Lewis in Boston. Hello, Lewis in Boston. Hey, Riley, how you doing? How you doing, Yvonne, also? Okay. Good. There's one half of the twins, and it's obviously my birthday today, so... Um, oh, I'm happy right. birthday, twins. Yeah. Shout out to you, big guy. And your brother. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Riley. Um, I just have one quick question, and if you can just give a big out shout out for us again. Um, mm -hmm. My quick question, Riley, do you expect anything else happening to this um, earthquake or, uh, or anything in that well, nature around this week or maybe this past month? No, I actually, uh, I don't expect... Uh, now, if you were out in California, because of the sandy uh, part of that nature, there would be holes and stuff that would ultimately give some more shocks or aftershocks and things of that nature. But because we live on uh, rocky ground, I do not anticipate any aftershocks. In fact, good man, chances are we will not experience another earthquake in this area for the rest of the duration of my life and perhaps your own. And another shout out to the twins in New York. Take care now. Boston, Boston. Yeah, they're in Boston. Boston, okay, in Boston, Boston. Oh, yeah. All right, thanks, Sorry man. about that. All right, next call. This is Jim in New York. Hello, Jim in New York. Hey, Mr. Martin, how are you, sir? Listen, okay, you Jim. Remember me? You, you spoke to me. You called me uh, right after Thanksgiving last year. I was driving south on 95. Okay. This Sunday night in Baltimore. Do you remember that? Uh, possibly so, yeah. I know quite quite a few, uh, you know, truck drivers and things okay. like that. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I just want to say you need better call screeners because these assholes who keep calling up and think it's funny to make stupid comments and waste everybody's time. Is, right. and, I, and I give you kudos for putting up with it and dealing yeah. with it the way you guys do. Yeah, I, I suspect. It's, it's I, so yeah. annoying. Yeah. yeah, I suspect it is a campaign that emanates from the ones who are giving me a hard it's time all, out of it's New York. All the young, it's all the young children who don't know their ass from a hole in the ground who are so ignorant, don't, you know, know any yeah, better. Yeah, it's funny. yeah, 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 it's, they, it's, they, they, they do. But, of course, you know, you're going to get some of that. Of course, I'm getting more, it seems, right along and now uh, because uh, 
of the the the, the fluctuation of hatreds that's emanating across all the land and out of New York City too, you know, out of the studios. Now, so thanks for calling. All right, next call. This is uh, Ron in Washington. Hello, Ron. Hey, what's going on? Uh, I was wondering, how does Zeron's penis taste? Uh, well, uh, Ron, how, well, look here. I hear a child in the background. Don't <laughs> You shouldn't talk like that in front of that child. And I hope that someone gets to you to stop you from doing what you are contemplating. Are you fool? All right, next call. This is Alan in Houston. Hello, Alan in Houston. Hey, Riley. How's it going? Okay. Um, I wanted to talk with you about uh, about Howard. Now, I know that, you know, he kind of treats you a little bit like a joke, but honestly, I, I've listened to you a lot over the years, and I really respect you as a person. I think is very intelligent about, about a lot of different things. I think you have a, a broad base of knowledge about things, and mm-hmm. one of the things that I wanted to well, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about was I really think, and I'm a person who's lived listened to Howard for since the mid '80s, and right. I think for the first time in his career he made a mistake. And mm-hmm. the reason I say that is because I really think he shouldn't have signed up for the five years that he signed up for about I don't know six or seven months ago, whatever it was, because obviously he has this bitterness in his heart now towards Sirius because they're kind of screwing him on his contract according right. to him. Even though we take, don't really know and he's that. taking it all. He's taking it out on me too. You know. He's, he's taking it on you, and he's taking it out on the listeners too, which is the first time in his career I think he's ever done that because every show ends at ten o'clock now. Mm. You know, he, right. he's very short about things. He doesn't. It, I mean, the quality of the show I think is good. I mean, Gary's getting some really good guests and things, and I enjoy the interviews and that sort of thing. But it's just not. He doesn't seem to embrace his fans as much now because he's trying to get back at serious. I think. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I can say, yeah, I feel that he's troubled, you know, yeah. but, but uh, you know, still, God bless him. Hey, man, if I was making that kind of money, I'd be happy every day, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm making pennies, and he's leaving me out of the extra hours lineup and things like that. And uh, my goodness, uh, uh, I don't understand, and it certainly is not going to make him happy to continue on this, uh, you know, plane, you know. Thanks for calling. All right, next call. This is Lamar in Houston. Hello, Lamar in Houston. Hi, Riley. Salutations. How are you doing? Okay. Hey, Ron. How are you? Good. Very awesome. I've got a quick question. So um, I heard, I saw that dinosaurs wiped up by nuclear weapons, but yet mammals are still continued to proliferate on this world. When the Earth is destroyed in 2012, will it still be able to continue? Oh, uh, yeah, but... Uh... Uh, do you understand what he's saying? Not exactly. No, no, I can't. Ex- uh, Can you slow down and repeat it? Yeah, sure. When the Earth is destroyed in 2012, are mammals still going to continue to thrive, like after the dinosaurs are destroyed? Oh, well, yeah. Well, I do not anticipate that uh, everything will die, not even all humans, uh, e- providing it happens uh, and what have you. Uh, nonetheless, that's what we are here trying to prevent. Uh, but uh, but no, all of life on a given planet, uh, to my knowledge, rarely, totally, absolutely dies, because we've got animals, uh, creatures that can exist on the varied conditions. We've got extremophiles in the deep caves and things of that nature. We've got uh, 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 creatures that can live in boiling waters. Uh, of the geothermal vents and things of that nature. So so there will be some life here. I'm saying that we are contributing to our own destruction through all the things that we are doing to the atmosphere and things of that nature, and ultimately it's got to come to a head, and the, some something has to change. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me give a shout-out here. To Mike and Diane Boyd, Jamal and Luda Lawson, thank you all. Out there in Ogden, Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, Mikey Bundick Sr. and Jr. and the lovely Jennifer Babcock up in Chicopee, Mass. in New York State. Dick and Jenna Carter out on the road. Gary the Avatar and Lisa Parchak in Des Plaines, Illinois. Margaret and Dick Woodward out in Ramona, California. Clifford and Helene, the lovely Helene Green down in Macon, Georgia. And all the family. Love you guys. Robert Weldon Jr. His mom, Joy. And Griffith, Indiana, 
and he's out in California. <clears throat> Dr. Robert Friedman and uh, Drs. April Smith and Merkel, Avalonian Ferrante, Sarante, Vicky and Yabison, Ellie, Miss Baldis and Jenna, and Phillipsburg, New Jersey. He's my orthosurgeon. Eva Wallentech out in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, Dr. James Johnson, a great doctor in Flemington, New Jersey. Matt Panther and his lovely Monsita in Dawsonville, Georgia. Go to the CosmicLegends.com to get my thing. Fort Kachowski, Devonay, and Zach, Kingsford, Michigan. Stay with us now. We shall return. November 1953. An abduction. A little boy. An incredible universe. Call 888 Stern 101 with your questions, your experiences, your beliefs, your prophecies. Riley Martin. The Riley Martin Show. On Howard. People of Earth of Tension. Howard 101. The Riley Martin Show. Howard 101. Call 888 Stern 101 and make contact from the world above, from the world beyond. The Riley Martin Show. And we are back. Thanks for staying with us, people. Forgive the impediments and all of the idiots. Yeah. <laughs> but, you you know, you're going to get that. Just generally, I don't get that much. But uh, but uh, bless their hearts, wherever they are. You know, uh, such attitudes eat you up inside. Don't fall into that trap, nor will I. Uh, welcome back to the Riley Martin Show. Uh, go to RileyMartin.com, www.RileyMartin.com, and uh, get your symbols and your books and all of this. There's only a finite number left. Uh, also, meet me in Doylestown, Pennsylvania, on Saturday, October 8th. Go to Susan Duval Seminars, 1L, Susan Duval Seminars.com, and uh, check it out and meet me down there. Saturday, October 8th, and also, you can follow me on Twitter at Riley L, got to put the L in there, Riley L. Martin, on Twitter, Riley L. Martin. Back to you, Iran. Don't forget, people, you can listen anytime online at SiriusXM.com. Just click on the Listen Online tab. Okay, quick email here, then we'll go back to the calls. All right. People send the emails to Riley Martin at SiriusXM.com. This is from Mark Z. Mark, okay. Mark Zappa. Okay. He's glad to hear you're sounding better, and he's asking, mm -hmm. is there any reason for us to return to the moon? Uh, well, Mark, uh, they have, uh, of course, you know, uh, it's for, like the economy is. No, I wouldn't go there now because the money is short. But uh, there are a great deal of things about the moon that they have discovered or got an inkling of that they still want to uh, to explore and things of this nature. There are even underground installations on the moon and things like that that's not man-made. So, yeah, they, they, they uh, ultimately will go to the moon. It is a factor that any intelligent species capable of the technology to traverse space will ultimately do so. They started off with little, uh, you know, boats, skin boats, reed boats, then ships, then airplanes, then, then cars and horses, whatever. They're going to do what they can do. Ultimately, we got to go there and beyond. But, no, I wouldn't spend the money right away. I wouldn't start a crash program to go there right now. <laughs> if an we, yeah, give me, get me, get us some jobs. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if an insect can do it, anybody can do it, huh? Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, next call, Riley. This would be Cecil in Pennsylvania. Hello, Cecil in Pennsylvania. Hey, uh, also, I'm in Bacon, my brother. Hey, Riley, mm -hmm. I, I'd like to ask your, uh, your feeling on uh, this Black on Black show. Uh, seeing, seeing that you were, uh, you know, prior to these uh, these two guys, uh, you were the, the token Negro there at uh, on, on <laughs> yeah, the yeah. 
now, 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 these two uh, unqualified shines come in and get ten hours of airtime last week to yeah. uh, cover Scotty Perel. And then, yeah. how does this work? Uh, well, this is unreasonable. Well, it was how I was doing because he said he nicks me. He told Tim, you know, I don't think people need that much rally or what have you. I disagree with him. I wish I had been in the lineup. However, uh, uh, you know, uh, the guys, I'm glad that they made some bucks or were able to make some bucks, and I'm not mad at them or anything like that. It's not their fault. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm, I'm certainly not mad at them. But I wish they had given me a couple of hours or something since I've been here about six years. You know what I mean. Well, I, well, I would certainly certainly think you're entitled. Uh, well, uh, you, certainly. <laughs> uh, but I mean, uh, Howard the, didn't. You're, Howard, you're the head nigger on the totem pole over there. Yeah, right? yeah well, well, uh, yeah, well, you know, otherwise, uh, uh, I'm, uh, you know, not necessarily the head jigaboo. But, uh, you know, I'm working my way up to the mouse's house. <laughs> Next uh, this is Matt in Canada. <laughs> yeah, hey, Matt in Canada. Hey, Riley, how's it going, man? Okay. Right on, man. Hey, Ron, how's it going? Good. Well, what, you know what? I hate this, man. All these people call and they fuck me. Like, I'm, I'm a long-time listener, honestly, like uh, four years now. First time right. caller, and yeah, and you know, I just want to. I don't know. These guys are fucking me. Like Iran's just, you know, good, and I don't know. I don't know. It brings. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They, you know, we we're, we're we're getting a a great deal of this now. But then again, look at your people who are running for office and all that. Anything is lined yeah. up. It's subject to happen now. You know. Whole fucking world, eh? I don't yeah. know. Anyway, sorry, I'll, I'll I'll get back on point. Um, I just got a brand new eight inch uh, Orion scope. I've been looking at Andromeda for a while, mm -hmm. and I've noticed some changes, eh? Like some bright lights and stuff. Same thing with around the rings of Saturn. Right. Well, the, the Biarians have been uh, stationed there near the rings of Saturn for uh, literally since biblical times, and there are ships going in and out of there all the time. NASA, uh, the Cassini Horgans have taken pictures of it. They know that. So, but they're not so going to tell you. Uh, so, um, are we not exploring further because we don't, because we know what we found and we don't want other people finding or, or what? No, they well, no, they don't, they're not telling us because they think we're too stupid to know. Is and they're, hold, they're withholding this information from us as is, the, uh, as there are many other things. Nonetheless, the only reason we're not exploring further is because we do not yet, we're still using fossil fuels. We don't yet have the technology to go beyond uh, physically, so to speak, yet, in a way. But, the, you know, at some point, should we survive this crucial time, ultimately we will go uh, beyond. You know, yeah, right. Thanks. Uh, this will be Milton in Seattle. Hello, Milton and Seattle. Way up there. Riley, 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 I am scared, terrified, petrified, horrified. I had this crazy vision while those stiffs on the East Coast were shaking in their houses uh -huh. that the Greys were thinking about invading our planet. Well, how, how do we stop this? How do I warn everyone? Yeah, hey, hey, good man. If they didn't take us out when we were in caves, they don't, they're not going to take us out now. We have nothing to fear from the sky, but we do have to fear a lot of stuff from Capitol Hill. You know what I mean? The whole smo up there. Uh, that's what we have to fear. Not the aliens at all. All right, here's Jim in Delaware. Hello, Jim in Delaware. Hi, Riley. Oakwood Tangent 1, buddy. Oakwood Tangent 1, uh, Jim. Yeah, I was wondering, Riley, uh, when you're fucking Iran in the ass, do you give him the whole nine inches or just give him the tip? Oh, uh, well, no. How, much, how many inches can you take there, good man? Next call, Stephen in New York, Riley. Hello, Stephen in New York. Hi, do you know what the next earthquake is going to be? <laughs> no, I don't. But chances are it'll be on the West Coast. All right. Yeah. Have a good one. Yeah. You too. All right. Uh, is uh, okay. Izzy in Seattle, Riley. Hello, Izzy in Seattle. Riley, how you doing? I see you're back. Glad you're doing good. Oh yeah, I'm doing okay. Hey, sir. Uh, only reason I signed from another five years on this stupid service was because of you. F. F. Howard Stringer, boss, man. He's fine for millions. You only need a few more bucks. Why the hell does he need pay you more? That's a bunch of bullshit. That's the only reason I got my serious radio for. Well, I mean, if, if more people chimed in and told them that, chances are 
uh, you know, then they would uh, try and get me some time. But they are not, uh, you know, uh, Scott and, and Mel and, and Tim and all of them, they are not going to buck the golden Jew. If he says, don't give Riley any time and all of that, maybe somehow or another, that satiates his petty nature, uh, his bully-type little weaselly nature, then uh, they are not going to buck him. But, uh, you know, ultimately, uh, things will out as they should. Destiny will be fulfilled, uh, even if I only had 10 minutes a week. I think we have time for one more call. Yeah. This will be Chris in Arizona. Hello, Chris. How about that squirrel, Mr. Merchant? Yes, indeed, Chris. <laughs> yes. Um, I was wondering, um, the Bialgians, are they going to encourage us to mate with the um, hybrids who, like, mm -hmm. are single people? Or are they going to allow us to um, uh, mate with other humans or clones of other single females? Uh, yeah, pr uh, pretty much. I suspect that more as I've over the years, I've got more females. Uh, I've got more females uh, going, and uh, I've got more females. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, uh, I know that this is a recording. And uh, uh, let me give a shout out here to uh, that's comforting to know. Yeah, Rich and Karen Horowitz out of Matawan, New Jersey. Uh, James Bucalee of the Young Soldier, Thomas Hawkins, Commander Brandon McCartney, Judith Galbach, Andrew Kern, Michelle Ford uh, in Hawaii, Iraq, and Afghanistan, Joel Runyon and the lovely Mary Cap out of Reseda, California on the road, Philip and Elizabeth Hope Santez out of Napa, Idaho, Chuck Bolin in Las Vegas, the great Chuck, Darren Foley of Survival of Survival Instinct Supply Dog Kinga in Chicago with an ordinary family. Chris from Arizona, uh, Norman Yee in Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, Christian Mortensen in Houston, Texas. Garrett and Fallon Cooper. Mike Bilski uh, in Scottsdale, Arizona. Shannon Singer and Ray Cozell and Brent Hinterlong in San Francisco, California. Robert Lindsay. And Lindsay, and Lindsay Luzon, Robert and Lindsay Luzon, Waverly, Mass, Waverly, Maine, Minnesota, Sean and Amy, uh, Bennett and Alan Dooley, and uh, David uh, Tra Travell, uh, Phoenix, Arizona, uh, Riley Martin Show, www.rileymartin.com. Get your symbols. Thanks for being with us. Show on Apple.